okay in the last class we have seen binary addition subtraction and multiplication in this class we are going to see about the binary division and some other conversions like gray code conversions and that okay so binary division when you take normal uh, decimal division that itself you can say you are continuous subtraction you can say so for example 25 divided by 5 means what you will be doing you will be subtracting uh, from uh, the divider okay dividend you are dividing the divide, with the divider subtract you are subtracting 25 minus 5 you will get 20 so for example i'll tell you see here um yeah if i am going to subtract sorry 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 subtract no subtraction is division now if this is the problem given what you will be doing 25 then subtract so you get 20 okay so one time you have done a subtraction then again 5 it is giving you 15 okay so two times you have done the subtraction now i'll write here 15 minus 5 it is 10 so you have done three times then 5 so here you have 5 you have done four times and then again you are doing subtraction you get 0 so five times so this is the answer if any remainder comes you you give the remainder so five points something like that so five times so five is the answer when you divide 25 by 5 you have the value five five times so for what we have done we have done continuous repeater subtraction of this uh, this number by this number okay that's what you are doing the same thing we can do in our binary division also for example here let us take this value this is a uh, this is a number given number and it has to be divided by 110 okay so now what you do is 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 divided by 110 now what you do yeah, first two zeros you can remove it no need then here 101 101 is smaller isn't it it is 5 whereas here 110 is 6 so it is bigger number this is a bigger number this is a smaller number so what you have to do you have to take four digits so now i take four digits one and i subtract this 110 now when you do subtraction what you will be getting here you have to do some uh, you can carry over the binary subtraction using one's complement or two's complement you can try that here okay so when you do that what uh, what you will be getting zero and then one zero here it is zero here one minus one it is zero and one zero means uh, zero minus one is zero is smaller number so you are borrowing so one zero minus one it is one okay so one zero zero so since you have uh, done uh, one subtraction you put on one time okay anyway here binary it is one and zeros only so one time and then you have this value one zero zero so if you you can see that this is a six and this is your ten okay ten minus six it is four so that's what you are you are, you are getting here then you bring bring down the next digit here now you as a whole digit you are going to do again a division so now put here again 110 then you can see for this when you subtract 1 and 0 you have 1 and then here 0 so you how to borrow here is also 0 so you are borrowing it from here so 10 and then here 10 okay this 10 you are getting here so what happened here 1 and 0 so 101 if you subtract you will get one okay same way here one one minus one you have zero so now you bring down this data so since you have done one time you are adding one here then the remainder push uh, in the portion you are adding one then this zero you bring down now one one zero since all are same there is it is multiplication it is one time so here also you do one and then zero now 
you can find the equivalent 42 and then this equivalent is 6. So you can do the normal division 42, 6. What happens? You have 7 times. So now see this is equivalent of 7. I hope you follow. Yes or no? Any doubt? Any doubt? Are you able to follow? Girls? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Okay. Now, this is another number you will see. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Then divided by 1, not 1. So, now uh, you take the first three digits. This is bigger. Okay. So, this is 5 and this is 4. So, this is smaller number. So, what you do? You take four digits. So, 1, 0, 1. Now, the practice from this, what you will be getting it is you have to borrow. Okay. So, 1, 0. So, here you get 1. And here already it is 1. So, 1, uh, you have to write as such. 1 minus 0, 1. Here, again, 1 is there because we have borrowed this one. So, here 1, 1 minus 1, it is 0. Here, it's gone. So, it is 0 here. So, now 1, 1, here 0. Then, now what you do? Again, you do another division. So, here 1, not 1, you write here. Uh, already, this has been done. So, here you have written 1. Now, 1, not 1. Now, uh, clearly, this is bigger number, isn't it? And this is smaller. So, this is 6 and this is 1. So, now you borrow 1. But anyway, 0 is smaller. So you borrow 1. So now it becomes 1, 0. Here it becomes 0. So 1, 0 minus 1, you have 1. So here 0 and this is 0. 1 minus 1, it is 0. Now 1, now you take 1. So what happens? We have 1, 1. Which is, you cannot do the division. So what happens? Here you do, uh, since you are taking one more digits. When you are taking two digits, you will be adding zero in the quotient. That's what here also we are doing. So zero. So we are bringing down this one and this one at a time. So we add a zero there. Then one not one. Now subtract here. This substitute this and subtract one one zero. This is one and this is zero zero zero. Now ten is there. Now bring this. Uh, since we have done one division, we add one. Now bring down this one here. Now it becomes one not one. Now we take one not one, one time division. So finally it is zero. Now you can check the decimal uh, division. So here the equivalent of this is one thirty five, and one not one is five. Now you divide by one thirty five five, you get the value twenty seven. So now you can calculate this value equivalent is nothing but twenty seven. You can calculate and you can cross verify your answer. Why I have not given is already I have told you how to cross verify. So you do the cross verification by yourself and find out whether it's correct or not. But that is how you have to do for each and every problem. Okay, two more problems I have given with decimal number. Now we'll see this 101, 1101. This is that. So 101 you are dividing. When you give 101, 101, this is a bigger number. So here you get 1 since we have borrowed. Since it's gone, here it is 0. And 1 minus 1, it is 0. And then you bring down this 0. But still it is, since one time you have one time you have divided, you add it. Now 1, 0 you are bringing, but it is still smaller. So you bring another digit. So since you have brought down two digits, you add a 0 here. Now 1, not 1, put 1. OK, the answer is? This is the answer. Now, example, this is a, all these are fraction number. Now we'll take this example. 11101.01110. So the same way, how you are doing the same way here you have to do. Only thing is decimal point is a difference. Yes, any doubt? Anybody wants to convey something? I think your uh, mic is on. Somebody mic is on. Please mute as the class is recording. And if you have doubt, you can ask. Or else, please close the mic. Mute the mic. Because 
I'm recording. Buna, Buna Tangaraj. Okay. Now one 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 triple one zero one point zero one, and then this uh, this value we are placing here. Clearly, you can see that this is a bigger number. So now it is divided by one. So one time we have done. Now this is zero, and this is one. Only two digits are there. That is here four digits are there. So we have to bring down two digits. So we add a zero here. And see here one zero. But still, this is smaller number. Okay, one zero one zero is smaller. So we have to bring another one or two. So for that, we add zero here. Okay. So now to do, do the division, one one zero zero. Now you see here we have one, and here we have zero, and then one one zero, and then here we have one. Now one zero zero one. Okay, then finally we have one. You do it by do the division one one zero again. We have zero one and borrow borrowed one from here. So one zero it is one here. We have one 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 minus one it is zero. Final sum. So accordingly we add since here one time division we have done one here here also one time division one. Time. So this is your answer. The same way you can verify. This problem, these problems also. Any doubt in this? Okay. The next topic, we'll go to gray code representation. So, what is gray code representation? Here, we have given the decimal number. First, we will see the decimal number equivalent up to 0 to 9. Its equivalent in binary code is, since we, if you have up to 7, you can represent, you can have only 3-bit representation. Since after that, you, you must go for 4-bit representation in order to represent even 8 and 9. Okay, so these are all the uh, binary representation and these are all the gray code. How we have we can find this gray code? That is what we are going to see. So the gray code belongs to a class of codes called minimum change codes, in which only one bit in the code changes when moving from one code to the next. So there must be only one code change. We'll see what is meant by one code change. See here, if you see in this binary code, one one after one one, suddenly it becomes zero one zero zero. Okay, these two bits changes. There are two bit changes. One changes to zero here, one changes to zero, and this zero to one. So actually, three bits are changing. Okay. Whereas it should not be like this in a gray code. Say, for example, here zero, 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 no problem. Then zero, zero, one, zero is changing to one. So only one bit is changing. Okay. One bit change occurrence occurs. Zero, zero, one means, means this is changing, this is also changing. That is not allowed. Only one change is allowed, just like this. So here, how the two will be represented, you have to write as such. And only this will be changing. 0 to 1 is changing allowed. Then 0, 0, 1, 1. See here, this changes to this. This is OK. Whereas here, you have to change from 1 to 0. So at a time, only one bit is allowed to change. Now we'll see how we can find the gray code like this. So even if here also you can see 1, 0, 1, here this is changing 1 to 0, 0 to 1. So two bits are changing at a time. No. Here if you see that 1, it is coming as such. Only this bit is allowed to change. So how this happens? That is what we are going to see how this conversions can be done. So let us say a number. You are asked to convert it to its gray code. Now, how you can convert a gray code? First, you have to write the most significant bit as such. Okay. And then you have to add this one with the next bit. So, when you do that, 1 plus 0, it is 1. 
okay then one plus one it, it this has to be same and then one plus zero it is one then zero plus one it is one then one plus one it is zero you you should not take it as one zero when when you have one zero you have to take the uh, value as zero okay one plus one then one plus zero it is one do you follow girls the last it is the most significant bit you have to write as such and then what you have to do is this and this to be added and bring down then this and this should be added and bring down and this this should be added and you have to bring down only the digit not the carry so when one plus one is added the answer is one zero one is a carry there so the answer is zero so that only you are writing here then one plus zero again it is one so this is how you write a gray code in that case when you take this how this has come zero you are writing as such then zero plus zero has to be zero zero plus one 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 plus zero it is one uh, sorry fr not from here from here because from binary code to gray code only we have to find so zero zero is writing as such then zero plus zero is zero 0 plus 1 it is 1 then 1 plus 1 it is 0 because 1 plus 1 it is 1 0 so you can find the equivalent this is a given binary code the given gray code can be find from this binary code so let us take randomly another one here, here this value so you have to write as such and then 1 plus 0 it is 1 0 plus 0 it is 0 0 plus 0 it is 0 okay any doubt so far? No, ma'am. Gray code conversion purjida? Ah. No, ma'am. No, the most significant bit is the update. No. I can add the digit to the digit. That's all. Okay. Now, reverse. Gray code. Given the gray code, you will be asked to convert it into binary. We'll see how to do that. So, it should be like this. You can do binary. We'll see how to do that. So it should be like this. You can reverse it. Now, the same convert gray code 100 to binary. So this is the given gray code. Now you write as such. Okay. Last digit of day. That is most significant bit. You have to write as such. And then this plus this. This is the gray code. So this one, when whatever you are bringing on, that you have to add it with this gray code next digit. So these two, when you add, you have one. Then this and this, you have one. Then this and this, you have one. And then, yes, you add this and this, you'll be getting. So this is how you form the gray code. A binary of a gray code. See here, this is the binary. This is the gray code. Are you able to follow girls? Now we'll take any any number. Uh, say for example, this one zero one zero. Let me take one zero one zero. One zero one zero. Now we'll see how we can convert to binary. Now you have to write as such one, and then this plus this. So you will be having zero. Sorry. Now oh, I'll write again. It's one zero one zero. So this you have to write as such, and then one plus zero it is one. One plus one it is one zero. So you write zero, and then zero plus zero zero. Now we'll see whether it is correct. This is a gray code. Okay, this is gray code. Now, equivalent binary is this. 1, 0, 1, 0. Yes. See here, we have written 1, 1, 0. So, this is how you find uh, that is from gray code to 
binary and binary to Greco. Okay, now we'll see octal addition and subtraction. Octal. This is the given number is an octal number. These two are octal. Now you add these two. When you are adding, you should not get more than seven. So that rule you have to remember. So what we'll do see here, this is a smaller tabulation. You can follow this tabular column or you can just remember and can do. Say for example, 0 plus 0, 0, 0, 1. Uh, 0 plus 2, 2, and so on. So first row, I think no problem. But when you are doing, we'll see here. 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 1, 7. And then 7 plus 1, it is not 8. It is after this, I already told you. After 9, what we will be getting? We will go again back to 1 and 0. So same way here, after 7, it is 1, 0. Okay. After 7, the next rotation starts. So it is 1, 0. So here, if you see, let's see. 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1, and 1, 2, and so on. So now with this in mind, we will see this addition. 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. So the equivalent is, equivalent decimal is 3, not 2. All of you know how to convert a given octal number to decimal number. Okay. If if not, you please go through the previous class recordings and know. Now, this is the equivalent. This is just for verification I have given this decimal values. Okay. So, now how you can do octal addition? 6 plus 3. Now, after 6, it is 7. 7 kapro number after 7, it is 1, 0. So, 7, 1, 0, uh, 7, poido, then 1, 0, 1, 1. So, 1, 1, la, 1, inga zero, inga carry. Then 5 plus 2, it is 7. Then 7 plus 1, it is 1, 0. So, we write 0 and then 1 here. Then 4, 5, 6. So, this is the octal addition. These two are octal number. When we add those two, we get this value. Now you can check, cross verify your answer. Now this is for octal subtraction. 456 minus 173. So here 6 minus 3 you get 3. Then 5. You will be borrowing. So it will be 15. Okay. 15 minus 7. What is it? 7. You will be getting 6. Then here 4 minus 1, already 1 is gone. So, here 3 will be there. So, 2. So, this is how you do the subtraction in octal. Then, hexadecimal addition and subtraction. Here, hexadecimal, 4A6 plus 1B3. This is, this. Uh, the answer is also given here. Now, 4A6, you do like this, 1B3. So, here, if you check here, here. After 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. So, when you add 1 plus 7, you have 8. 1 plus 8, you have 9. But 1 plus 9, you don't have 10. You have A. Then 1 plus B, 1 plus A, you have 1 plus A, you have B. That is the next digit. Then 1 plus B, you have C, and so on. Okay? So, like this, you have, then after this, see here, 1 plus E, you have F. 1 plus F, the next rotation goes. So, it is 1, 0. You can see this. From this table, you can understand. Okay? So, now, with this in mind, we will go here. 6 plus 3, no problem. 9, up to 9, no problem. 6 plus 3, 9. Then, A, a plus B. So, what will be you having? A plus B. See here? 15. 15 equivalent. Actually, A plus B is after um, B, you have to add. Uh, you can take, you, can, you have to count up to 16. So, when you say B, B, C, you please count up to 16 digits. Okay? 
what i am doing you follow b plus a so what will happen b c d e f then again so after that it becomes 10 okay 10 then 11 12 13 14 15 because you have to count up to a when it is 10 values it becomes a see 9 a ingrad na 10 so 10 value b oda 10 values start pandringa appo adu undi 15 agum girls i am telling you again after b please use your fingers 10 values ni add pandra adu hexadecimal la add pannu so b k apra enna c d e f adu apra 10 nu payanum seriya 10 F F G F ஜிரோட் right now you have the 659 now you have to find its equivalent by multiplying it by 16 power 0 16 power 1 16 power 2 you will be getting this value okay now subtraction subtraction la reverse la paninga inga vandu fingers vittu neenga forward panniteenga inga vandu reverse la pannum 4a6 minus 1b3 now what you do is 6 minus 3 no problem you have 3 then a minus b a is smaller number so you have to borrow one from here so it is 1 a so 1 a ingirundhu idu okay so you have to borrow from 1 a so b la and subtract pannu so when you do that b uh, you have to count up to 1 a so b c d e f then uh you have 10 then 11 12 13 14 15 then 16 17 18 19 uh totally now 18 9 18 that is 15 so you have f okay that can be 15 can be represented with f then here 3 is the so 3 minus 1 2 so you get this value 